The best iPhone apps are the ones that know how to break all the rules. Let's take a look back at the most disruptive apps of 2016. Two thousand and sixteen will go down in history as the year of Pokemon Go. The uber popular app brought mass scale augmented reality to the iPhone, and mobile gaming will never be the same. Augmented reality is just getting started, however. The iPhone Seven Plus just got a dual camera to help facilitate AR experiences, and games like Pokemon Go will only become more immersive. Just imagine Pokemon Go two point zero, where the tiny pocket monsters get to climb up real life trees. And it's not just mobile gaming that's getting an AR boost. There are already iPhone apps implementing augmented reality in travel, shopping, and real estate experiences. So expect AR on your iPhone to live long after, even if Pokemon Go eventually fades. This year alone, Instagram got over 100 million new users, growing its total base to 600 million. And it got to this milestone by playing the offensive. Instagram admittedly ripped its video stories from Snapchat and incorporated them flawlessly into its own app. This copycat move was largely forgiven because Instagram executed it so well. And it's not only Snapchat that's feeling the heat. Instagram also incorporated live streaming capabilities similar to Periscope, and it even stole from its own parent company, Facebook, when it gave us the option to like comments. Don't hate on Instagram, however. All social apps are becoming harder to differentiate. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Periscope, they all have a stake in live video sharing, which means that this revolution will certainly be broadcast. And while social apps all copied each other in 2016, streaming apps couldn't fight hard enough to stand out. Apple Music doubled down on exclusive album premieres in its ruthless fight against Spotify. The strategy paid off, and Apple Music has grown to over 20 million paid subscribers. Meanwhile, Spotify turned to streaming video in order to gain an advantage, hosting clips from ESPN, MTV, and Comedy Central. Of course, exclusive content continued to be the bread and butter of other streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Video, and HBO. Which means that instead of an ecosystem, digital streaming is more like gated communities, each requiring a $10 a month subscription. Hopefully, in 2016, we'll finally, finally revolutionize digital content with user-friendly and affordable bundles. That way, we don't need a subscription to Apple Music to listen to Frank Ocean and a separate subscription to Tidal to listen to Beyonce. App disruption was at an all-time high in 2016, and don't expect the trends they brought about to fizzle away anytime soon. Now that the app invasion is over, the app revolution has finally begun.